hi everyone and welcome back to clean up with kelly and if you're new welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how i turn these old set of canvas paintings into a z gallery inspired art for our bathroom So here's everything that I used. I got this roller set. It came with a paintbrush, a roller, and some gloves, and then a little tray for the paint. I actually got this at the Dollar Tree. Next, I'm using this Rust-Oleum. This is a paint and primer, and it is black. I also took another one from Rust-Oleum, and this is a metallic spray paint. And then I got this spray adhesive by Elmer's and this Waverly white chalk paint. This acrylic paint, I got it at Target and it's such a beautiful light blue color. And also from Target, this glitter. This is just sparkling glitter, they're really big pieces. And then I also got this agave chalk paint as well. start off by painting over the art that's already there. I got this off of Amazon a few years ago. It's a nice picture but it's not really going with anything that we have in our home so that's why I wanted to do this. So I'm just going to paint the canvas over with one coat of chalk paint. I'm also going to paint the sides of all three and let that dry. So here are the paintings after the first coat. I'm also going to paint a second coat just on the top surface. I'm not gonna worry about the sides. And here they are after the second coat. Now this is the part where you can get pretty creative. I'm going to take the metallic paint and then get it a nice coat on the bottom and then kind of lightly spray up towards the top. So next I'm going to take this lovely shade of light blue and just kind of dribble it onto the pictures. And then with the Waverly chalk paint, I am going to take my brush, kind of the end of it, and then just kind of sweep the paint all over and mixing it into the blue and getting all that to kind of blend together. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You can see here that I am kind of doing different strokes um, up and down kind of all over the place. My goal was to make this kind of blunt into one big picture and mixing those two colors together made it everything turn out really nice. It just reminds me of the ocean. I'm going to add just a little bit more of the blue. I actually just wanted some kind of strings of it. I did add a little bit more to the center but on the top and you'll see later there's kind of just strings of the blue and I really liked it that way.
add a little bit more of the metallic to the bottom. It's a little bit hard with spray paint just because you can actually see the circles where I spray, but it actually just turns out fine when they're hung up. You can't really tell, but I just wanted the bottom of it to be really shiny and silver. So I'm going to be taking the black paint and lightly spraying and then having some concentrated drips drop down wasn't my plan but I actually liked how it turned out so I ended up doing that on all three. After I've let this dry for a little bit, I'm going to take the spray adhesive and spray where I want to lay the glitter on. Again, you can be as creative as you want. You can put the glitter wherever you want. I just thought I would do it kind of in the middle. So I'm gonna take this glitter and <laughs> I was struggling to get this out. They were so crammed that I had to push everything back to get all the glitter to come out. So you're seeing me struggle a little bit. But I finally got it out and I just kind of sprinkled it along the center where I put the glue. So here's what it looked like after I put the glitter on. I'm going to let that dry and make sure that the glue and everything's set up. So after the glue is dry, I just gently tap off the excess glitter on all three. And here is the finished look. I'm going to give you a, another look in our bathroom is where I permanently put it. So here is what they looked like again before and then hung up in our bathroom. Let me know if you're thinking of doing something like this. If you do, what colors would you use? What glitter? I'm so curious. I had so much fun in making this and I want to do a lot more, but I'd have to go out and buy more canvases. So let me know if you want to see more of these videos. It was a lot of fun and I really liked how they turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're new, I hope you hit the red subscribe button and tap the bell. I post three times a week and I always give you guys some clean motivation along with other types of videos. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.